Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the defrost board on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, maybe a small flat blade, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So pull it forward and unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. Now once we've done that, it's best to remove all the items on the upper shelf. And then using our quarter inch nut driver, we're going to remove that control housing and take it out of the refrigerator altogether so that we can change the socket. So we begin by removing this quarter inch hex head screw that secures the housing to the ceiling of the fresh food compartment. Just allow that to lower down. Next we'll need to remove that wire harness connector. You just put your flat blade screwdriver in at the front there to remove that connector. And then pull it away from these two mounting studs at the back. You'll note that there are two cutouts that fit into that. And next we'll need to pull the capillary tube out of the holder at the very back, and then we have the housing in our hands. At this point we can take it out and do the repair on a suitable work surface. Now with the control housing on a suitable work surface, our next step will be to remove the water terminals from the old defrost board. So using our needle nose pliers, we'll pull the two individual terminals off. Now to remove that four wire terminal block, or off down they're quite snug. So take your flat blade screwdriver and just pry against the board to get it loose. And then pull it off. Now next we'll flip that housing over and we'll remove the two Phillips screws from the bottom. You can then lift the old defrost board off and set it aside. We'll position the new one in the same location. And it is shipped with some longer screws. And on this model, we do not need to use those. We can reuse the originals. So begin by lining up the screw holes with the holes in the housing. and then reinstall the screws. and tighten those both securely. Now depending on your model, you may need to use the wire harness adapter to connect to that board. On this particular model, there are individual wires that will connect to the board, so we don't need that adapter. We'll start by putting the four wire terminal connector on first. And make sure it is fully inserted onto the edge of that board Then next, we'll install the two individual wires and the color codes are marked on the board.
Again, make sure that they're on there nice and snug. And now we're ready to put the assembly back in the refrigerator. Now to reinstall the housing, the first thing we'll do is to position that capillary tube through these holes in the air inlet duct. Make sure it goes through all three. And next we're going to engage that wire harness connector. And make sure that locking tab in the front engages. Then next we're going to put those two fork shaped ends over the mounting studs on the ceiling. Push that back so that it supports the back end of it. Next we'll take our quarter inch hex head screw, insert that into the opening at the front, push it all the way through so that we can see the top of it and line it up with the hole in the ceiling, and then secure it in place. Tighten that securely. Next we'll reload the refrigerator and we can plug it back in. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.